one first, and and then um, we'll, we'll we'll go from there. Max, sorry about that, but I think I started sharing the screen, but I was not recording, so I have started recording it now. That's fine. That's fine. So uh, so before we go there, uh, do, do we want to create everything from scratch, or do you want to try out my my futures? Maybe it helps that way. Yeah, I thought of of just uh, using what you already have, and then uh, I think it will already help. Okay, cool. So uh, again, I think we start recording already. Uh, this meeting, uh, unfiltered session, is about how we cut through the noise of our uh, each and every one's inboxes because there's so many emails that we get every day uh, from from Google Calendar, from um, from the projects and whatnot. So do you want me to start by sharing my screen first to see the end state where where? Yeah. So we have yours right now, which is like the the the, the plain one. Uh, this is what I have on my side. So I have a future for Google Calendar, so I know off the top of my head, hey, um, this, is, this is from Google. And what I do, if I respond to every, every one of them, I just go ahead and, and delete them. So I don't have much Google Calendar filters left on in my inbox. And I get like 100 or something on a good day, 50 emails a day. I'm still trying to go through to inbox zero. Um, so this is what I was talking about earlier, is I have a future that, that labels everything that's coming from the platform itself, which is the main filter, GitLab. And then from then on, I filter by project. So I have, I have a sub project under, uh, sorry, sub labels under project. So there's insights, there's CE, there's also one for EE. So I know exactly which one's coming from which section or which, which project I'm interested in. And I also have mentioned, so these are the ones that I would try to, um, to go in and, and, uh, and ad address. Uh, I try to use inbox zero. So for example, if, if I, somebody mentioned me, Meg, do you think this chart would be useful? I left some of these just for the demo purposes. Um, I already replied, uh, sorry, I think I replied uh, on another one, but I will reply and then once I'm done with it, I'll go and, and archive this email. So it's almost like a, a task tracking. You can also use to-dos, but for me, I, I'm in participation of so many projects, email is, is probably my, my source of truth. Um, and then I have a label for GitLab bot uh, and whatnot, and also obviously Greenhouse. Um, yeah, so why don't we start from there and then, uh, and uh, maybe you want to share your screen so we can start creating one label. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. So I imagine that I need to go to the settings, right? Yes, you go to the settings and labels. And go to labels, correct. Um which one do you want to start first? Do you want to start uh, from maybe maybe create one for uh, everything coming from GitLab, or you want to try just yeah. to do projects first? Every, yeah, every, everything coming from GitLab is a good, can be a good start, I think. Okay. Uh, so I can. So I think you need to go to a. Oh, well, let's create one label first. It's called GitLab. So uh, is there like a, um, maybe scroll down. Create new label. Yep. 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 Let's type GitLab. So that's going to be your main one. Yeah. Yep. And then just go ahead and click create. And okay. then let's, uh, let's use the, um, the filter. So I'm using this one. I'm just going to share it in, in your, um, in our Zoom. And then you can just type it in. So I'm using uh, from. And then the URL of the um, the URL of the email server. You can click on if you can go into the, the Zoom chat. You get you see it. See the yeah. yeah. I have a Reddit. So yep. go. Should I go, go to, to filters and block? Yep. Let's, let's go to filters. Well, let's let's do it this way. Why don't we Why don't we do it through the search? That's probably easier. So type in the search box on top. Yeah. You can you can create filters from here. So. Uh, uh, you can paste in the definition of the um the, the search. Yes. Okay. And uh in the drop down. Um yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, this is so we need to copy gitlab dot gitlab at mg dot gitlab com up to from. And then delete that. And then delete has the words. Um uh, delete sorry. the Delete the second filter called it has the words. So that's that's the default that Gmail. Okay. Out. Okay. Right. Let's try to do a search. Um, the search button. Yep. 
Okay, it's matching. That's good. We're, we're kind of testing it right now. Okay, go back to the drop down. Uh, yep. Yep, and then create filter. Um, hmm. Yes. And then apply the label, check the uh, apply the label mark. Cool. And then apply GitLab and then create filter and go back to your inbox. Um, did we, did we, oh, sorry, uh, we need to go back there and can we please edit the filter again? Or uh, we need to check the apply, also apply to existing um, matches. Okay, okay. Let's do it then. Settings, filters. Yep, go to edit and then search again. I click hit search again. Yep. And then in the drop down, yeah, this is a uh, Google. Hit, hit search. We need to go through the wizard for it to activate. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um, continue. Sorry. Click continue. All right. And then also apply. Tick the also apply filter matching conversations. So this will yeah. kind of apply. Okay. Yep. And then update filter. Go back. Yeah. Cool. So now you have a basic filter of um, what's coming from GitLab.com and what's not. So you see, uh, there's other emails that that's coming from like uh, your from myself, for example. Yeah. Yes. So now you have the first label set up. Uh, let's do another one. Um, I have one called mention. So why don't we do this? Let's let's just go through the the search and we can create it that way as well. Let me pull my definitions here and I'll I'll help you with that. Yep. So what I do for mention is, uh, okay. So in this in the search drop down, uh, mm -hmm. drop down. Yep. Uh, click the drop down, the the triangle. Oh yeah, sorry. No worries. So from I type GitLab.com, so just GitLab.com, and oh, GitLab. Yeah, don't hit, don't, hit, don't hit enter here. Just leave it. Yep, just leave it there. Yep. Awesome. And then in the has the words, uh, do an at your handle at GitLab. At, at GitLab? Uh, no, no, your, your username at, at okay. GitLab. All awesome. right. Okay. So click a search. It's a match. Awesome. Okay, now go back to the drop down again. We need to save this. And then um, create filter. And then uh, apply the label here and in choose label just hit new label yep and then mention mentions however you yep and i yeah that's, that's good as well so uh hit apply to 21 matching conversations great filter great cool. now now you have the the conversations that are mentioned by you. Well, so what I do is in mentions, I highlight it with a different color. For me, it's 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 yellow black, just so yeah. like your warning sign. So feel free to do that as well. And what you do is you essentially continue to do this. So let's do a few more. Um, I have some for the status of merge requests. Mm. That's a good one. That's a good one. So let's do that. Uh, so let's go up in the search bar again. I will give you my definitions. And then we'll go from there. Uh, Um, this is a tricky one. Um, it requires a bit fine tuning. So in the from, I use dot, type in dot, GitLab, <coughs> dot com. And then in uh, has the words, I do two string matching. So it's, um, uh, it's here, just use this one. Uh, it's, it's quote unquote merge requests plus what's merged. So it's anything that has merge requests and then there's a wildcard in the middle and then what's merged. Okay, yep. let's, do, um, let's do a search. Cool, mm -hmm. awesome. So you have three in your inbox that has already merged, right? So you uh, could create filter and then um, uh, let's, uh, let's create a label, yep. And then uh, let's do a new label. So now uh, I, let's, create, let's create the label merged for now, but then we wanna move that under like a status folder. 
So okay. like in say this use that's like we open this merge and then uh, yeah, let's find for now. Okay, create and then uh, hit also apply the five matching conversations, create filter. Awesome. Cool. So what I do, um, if if there are things that every morning I go to I click the the label merge. So if you can just see what you have under merged um, in your filters. Yeah, so in here, have, right. Yep. So if these are the things that I don't need to, like if I glance and it's an FYI, I know it already. I just select all and archive. So I yeah. don't need to look at it anymore. Yep. Uh, so that's merge. Um, uh, what else should we try out? Uh, Do you have something for, um, for merge requests that you are waiting for some response? I have a sign. Let's do that then. Yep. How about that? So, um, okay, let's do a sign. Uh, let's go up to the, uh, the search again. And then let me pull my definitions. Okay. This is an easy one. So I just use has the words and then assignee changed to my full name and you should change it to, to your name. So that's what I use. So let's just type in assignee change to and then your, your full name, the name that you use in the platform. Yeah, let's see here. And we might be able to just use your first name. Um, I think so, right? Because I don't think there is another volume. <laughs> well, you never know. Um, you might have to update it later. Yeah. So yeah, let's do a search. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, let's create that. Um, create filter. Apply this. Uh, yep, correct. And then I use the, the label assigned. Yep. Great. Great. Oh, I love it. Yes. So now, like every morning, you know exactly where you mentioned in, um, mm -hmm. and then where you're being assigned. Well, m most of the time, the ones that have you assigned will who have you mentioned. So it's, it's kind of, yeah. you can do slice and dicing of the, uh, the status that way, uh, mentally. Yeah. Great. Uh, uh, let's, let's take it a step further. Uh, why don't we, why don't we create a, a, a parent folder called status and we're gonna create another status. So let's go to, um, uh, I'm not sure how Gmail can create uh, labels on the fly. Uh, I think you would have to, um, should I go to yeah, the set settings? Yep, let's go to settings. Labels. Um, and now we have create a new label. No, 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 create a new label. Yep. Let's do um, status. Mm -hmm. Create. And now when we create it merge, let's move that under status. So under that, yep, hit edit on the right hand side. Yep of the label, yep, and let's move it under status. Yep, let's save. Cool. Great. Okay, awesome. Let's do um, closed. This is a, uh, a, uh, a very useful one because um, those yeah. mean that it means that you don't need to do any more action items on it. Exactly. Uh, let's, uh, okay, um, if you can search, I'll give you my definitions, okay. So in from so I, I have to fine tune it. So in some labels, I have to be specific because uh, it might match emails from others, other parts of the universe. Mm -hmm. So I use, I always use dot .gitlab .com. Um, uh, The reason I use dot is because there are other subdomains that there's ng.gitlab.com, there's like other prepod.gitlab.com. So in this way I get, it applies to every email in every environment. All right. And, uh, in the has the words filter, I use this definition. So quote unquote issue was closed by. It's in the chat, you can just copy it over. Yep. And then let's do a search. Mm -hmm. Awesome. These are, this has already closed and there's four in your inbox that you probably don't need to look at it anymore. So yep. you drop down, hit create filter and then apply the label, yep. In here, new label, and I uh, uh, use the word uh, closed, and then put this under status. Awesome. Yep, and apply it to six matching conversations. You're getting good at this. Yeah. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to force your own, your own thing later. Yeah, exactly. I think I will experiment with many different things. 
uh, yes. I feel like with all of that, I, I can already move on with creating other futures. So I think the next thing that you could just uh, show me how to do once and then I can do it uh, more times for other labels yep. would be changing the colors of them so that I can visually differentiate them easily. Yes, uh, I, I'm, I come from a UI automation background and UX uh, colors is like my, my really, um, I, I can spend hours fine tuning the colors to match the psychological mindset of what it means. Okay. Uh, so you can go, you can go wild, but uh, let's let's just do. Uh, I I don't want. I I just want to have different colors for different things. <laughs> I won't go so deep. <laughs> sure. Let Let's do mention first. Uh, click on mention. Yeah. Uh, and then the the three bars on the side. Yes. Uh, I I want to. Uh, okay, let's let's use the same color just for um for edit. Sake. No. Um. Label color on top. All right. Yeah. And why don't we do a, add a custom color? Mm -hmm. I do a uh, yellow background. So in background, create yellow. Yep, yep, that's the one. And then text, do black. black. Yes. Yes. So this is like the warning sign on the road that you normally see. <laughs> yep. uh, for, for status, I leave it because that's apparent. So let's do closed. I do um, closed is actually gray for me, which means I yeah, can, you can use the, um, uh, you can use the default color as well. So hit cancel out. Yep. And then uh, close. So go on. That's merge. We can do merge as well. Uh, you can do green. I do. I do green for merge, which means it's 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 good to go. Yeah, any any of that's fine. Up to you. Yep. 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 And uh, yeah. So and yep. You can take a look at your inbox now. For so assigned, I will check just some of like. My preferred colors. Yes, yes. Uh, for GitLab, I, for GitLab, I use um, orange, orange and purple, the company color. <laughs> That's what I would use as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Why don't I give you my color? Uh, so I experimented with it already. Um, so this is a. Uh, the background is purple. So you want to do. Oh, the background is purple, and then. And then, orange, orange. Yeah. Uh, probably darker, darker orange because uh, you want to read, yeah, somewhere around there. Yep, yeah, that's cool. cool. There you go. So yeah, that's a basic, basic uh, uh, way of organizing your inbox. Yeah, um, perfect. I think yeah. others will benefit from it. When I was uh, in the contribute in a in a workshop about, uh, I don't remember exactly what was the title, but it was something related to being remote and being able to still be productive. And I mentioned that I would have your, this session with you and that we would record and many people got interested. So I imagine that this will awesome. help. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can also export my filters. So mm -hmm. for, uh, if you want to add like a, a, a section in a handbook, um, you can That's just get started running with these and then I have to like go through this again. But this is for um, yeah. starting from scratch, explaining why uh, we're doing mm -hmm. it this way. Yeah, yeah, but I think I would love to to get the the export of your filters so sure. that I can at least uh, look at them and see if there's something that I could use as well. Right. So I I, I didn't want to share all my screen because there are like recruiting emails and sensitive emails here and yeah. there. So uh, let let's not go go back there. Uh, I will export them and then um, we let's take it offline and I'll, I'll send you the file and we can maybe collaborate on an entry into the handbook. Yeah, I will stop sharing then. And uh, would you like to thank you for sharing this with me? And then I will 